favorite kind of PMD Cripple. This is a one extra long standard wire dry fly hook and I'm gonna lay a base of size 70 ultra thread wire, or ultra, ultra thread onto the hook in brown. Tie that to the back. All right, and then the tail is gonna be wood duck. It's a pretty sparse PMD fly. Um, so you're just gonna use seven or eight fibers of PM of, uh, of wood duck for the tail. And to measure the tail, we wanna keep it about the same length as the shook as the shank of the hook. So I measure it about like that, and then I pinch it where I want to tie it in so that it ends up the same every time I tie it. And you don't want to use any unnecessary thread wraps on this hook, on this fly, otherwise it gets um, unproportionate fast. You want to keep a slim profile on the body here. Um, to make sure that this fly floats well, which is a problem with a lot of PMDs, we're going to add a small amount of uh, copper, McFlylon, or Antron, whatever you got. A very small amount. And we're going to tie that in about halfway, halfway down how far out you put the uh, wood duck. It's about like that. Hanging out the back, that's going to help this fly float quite a bit. Um, next material we're going to add to this fly is a turkey biot in brown. And we want a slight segmentation on the body. So to do that, we have to tie the U of the turkey biot down. And then we'll tie the skinny part section of the turkey biot in first. So that when we wrap forward, that U section of the turkey biot flares up. And as you can see, because we didn't wrap all these in too many times, we still have a nice thin, even profile of the body as we wrap forward. We'll leave that there so we can tie off the turkey biot. And then we're gonna use a hackle pliers to wrap forward so that we can uh, control this turkey biot and make sure we don't wrap over itself. Make sure that it, the turkey biot's laying down properly. The segmentation will get bigger as you go up, up the fly. And then we'll just tie that off. Cut off the excess. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in some deer hair. And this deer hair is pretty thin deer hair, has a little bit of underbody fur. Um, and you want to keep the deer hair real sparse. You're going to use this as the cripple wing. And you definitely don't want the cripple wing to overpower the body of the fly or it'll look really unnatural in the water. But the nice thing about using deer hair for the cripple wing, especially if you can find thin deer hair like this, is um, it floats much better than CDC or some of the other materials we're using on cripples. I should say it floats better for a longer amount of time. And it's easy to see. doesn't stack very well because of the really thin ends. That's okay. So what we do is we just we tie that in just a little bit short of um, basically the uh, antron that you tied in, the tips. We'll uh, tie that in so it sprays out pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is just add a little bit of UV. Actually, before we do that, we are going to tie in some grizzly hackle. And we want the grizzly hackle to be about um, a time one and a half uh, the size of the gap 
of the hook. So it'll be a little slightly bit oversized. And then we are going to tie in that little bit of light yellow UV ice stub. Okay, then we're gonna make about three wraps of Grizzly Hackle. And tie that off. And we are going to trim the top part of the Grizzly Hackle to make sure that, that the fibers when we pull this deer hair over, it lays nice and flat. Try to grab all the deer hair. If you miss a couple, that's okay. You can trim it. And we're going to tie that off facing forward. Like so. Okay. And then we're going to tie that off underneath the crippled section of deer hair. Last step is just to make sure that we uh, trim up any deer hair we missed. And we want to make sure, since we made this hackle a little bit long, we trim it to the length of the gap so that we can uh, make sure this fly sits real low in the water column. And again, that's uh, the finished PMD Cripple.